Hopefully I'm not gonna fail. I've spent here seriously so much time just fighting all that stuff and uh, we're gonna see where the zombies are gonna spawn. Okay, so zombies spawning over here. <laughs> Guys, it is me, Happy Cyric, and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival and I just realized how weird my intro sounds like. I literally just say, ayo, ayo, guys. But I still think it's better than, yo, what's up, my friends? It's me. I don't know. I'm I'm not redoing my intro. This is how it is now. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of Fort Mass event. And uh, I brought here some items. Also, I do have some stuff in my chopper. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna be showing here everything inside of the Fort Mass because some of the stuff is pretty boring. Like literally the biggest the biggest part of Fort Mass is just traveling from one place to another place and just bringing your items here. So I think the most interesting thing here is going to be building the base and defending waves of zombies. So that's what I am going to do. And you might be asking me, Cyric, why are you trying to even grind the Fort Mass? You are already inside of that top 5% or something, and I do believe that by the end of the season, that bar is gonna raise a bit higher, and the point is, you have to reach here level 30 in order to get one free ATV transmission. Well, it's not gonna be free, but when you're gonna reach here level 30, you're gonna get one ATV transmission, and at level 27 or something, you're gonna get one gas cylinder, and as I already said, one gas cylinder it costs you around 20 guns, like 20 fully modded guns, uh, considering you'll have to do that bunker bravo so that's what i am gonna do let's now dismantle a couple of stuff resources found i most likely maybe don't even have to disassemble that thing but hey wait didn't i take my pliers here i spent so much time to take the pliers and i didn't okay let's disassemble that thing you let's disassemble this can i disassemble okay no more nippers i mean we're gonna destroy uh, that one because again the best way to protect your base is going to be by building and uh, protecting your base with walls because because you can have whatever guns you want, but if you're not gonna have a lot of level one walls, it's gonna be really hard to protect your base, so... So I highly advise you to spend some time and clean out the base here and build pretty good walls, so that's what we are gonna do today. Okay, also there's this sign, boom, let's disassemble that, and can't wait until we will be able to assemble our turrets. I don't really know if they are even that much useful, but hey. Okay, so let's try to remove this pile, boom, and is there anything that I will be able to remove? I spent some time here just traveling again between one and another base just to be able to get those nippers so it looks like my base is kind of okay well at least i have the foundation i mean building walls is pretty easy like i highly suggest you building a lot of level one walls because if you're gonna craft like level three or level four walls they are gonna be destroyed by the zombies so if you are thinking that you can craft your level four walls and just destroy these zombies nope it's not gonna work uh, level four walls are gonna be destroyed again i had to travel back to the base to take some more resources but let's finally disassemble this last pile of garbage that i can't disassemble because i don't have any more nippers to do it and uh, I guess that's base it's pretty good yeah it's pretty good let's just start crafting walls and this guy requires us to craft three wooden walls and ten wooden foundations so uh, let's get to work okay that's gonna be two three uh, four five six seven eight nine and this is most likely tenth wall please tell me that that was enough not the wall but the foundation oh yes indeed that was totally enough uh, give me my points so now we have to craft three wooden walls and three wooden windows and again i most likely do not suggest you crafting these wooden walls and wind wooden windows just for the protection of the base i would only craft them when that captain asks for you to craft them. So here we go, let's craft these three wooden windows. One, uh, two, and this is gonna be a third wooden window. Is that enough? Yep, that was totally enough. Now we just have to craft three wooden walls, and I think that I don't really know where could we craft them, because wooden walls in Fort Moss are pretty bad. Like, maybe they have more points or something, but I think I'm gonna craft, like, one over here, one over here, and another okay no planks and let's craft one last over here boom and i'm kind of thirsty hopefully i'll have some water here let's complete this task so we'll have to do a little bit more and i think that yeah right now on level 15 we're gonna have another wave of zombies is that true but obviously this is not gonna be enough as i said you will require a lot of and a lot of level one walls so now somehow i just have to figure out the pattern of how i'm gonna protect this base here because it's just a huge mess so i keep building here just bunch of and bunch of level uh, those one window walls they are pretty cheap you just need like one piece of wood to build them and you can shoot through those windows so i highly suggest you crafting that stuff so here i'm gonna craft bunch of and bunch of level one windows i don't think i'll really have to go there and do something okay i just locked myself in well that's you already know that i'm gonna win this wave right if you like your <laughs> 
Uh. Okay, so after forever and a little bit, I am kinda done crafting this mess. And to be honest, I, I, I don't think it's gonna work. I really do not think it's gonna work. But hey, let's check it out. If I'm gonna be able now to get out of here, then maybe something is okay. So whatever, I'll be able to go and defend this uh, top of the base just like that. Boom, boom. I'm gonna be shooting them from there. And then we're gonna go here to the other side. And I have here a little bit of protection the point is this angle is kind of weird like i need to extend it more but whatever they're just gonna destroy these walls for nothing it's all good then i'm gonna somehow some way get out of that labyrinth and uh, we are gonna go through this side i do know that i can somehow wait i cannot access anything oh wow honestly speaking it's not good at all i seriously think it's just complete utter garbage i don't think it's worth it i think i shouldn't have done such a huge mess and i'll have to repair all those wall walls afterwards but better than nothing so i'm back here in this fort mass location and here we go we took a little bit of weapons and i just wanted to say something about fort moss is that fort moss is wait oh, i started it right meet people from reinforcement what is this task can you meet them do i have to get outside and get like some sort of event is that is that what this event is about really I think something have spawned there. Okay, so yeah, most likely these are gonna be a uh, Verderous path. Okay, let's so let's go over there. Haven't been there. Hopefully this is going to be enough. So what I wanted to say about Fort Mus is that Fort Mus is pretty interesting to play for yourself, but like to record a video on it, it's a bit harder because there's not much I can say about like building walls or like doing tasks or something. So I think I'm gonna keep more of the Fort Mus for live streams because it's more interesting there. So okay, so we're gonna deal now with these swamp zombies, dude. It would be better if I had here a spread shot. Okay, so we're gonna definitely do the spread shot here a little bit that helped out a lot oh thanks we're heading to your camp right now that's it really task completed okay is there anything else here on this map wait i'm just gonna follow them yeah we're just gonna go back to the camp and i thought this is gonna be a zombie something event or whatever well i was mistaken well in any case i'm still gonna grind here a little bit of fort mass event maybe we're gonna reach level 20 today or something i just want to fight at least one wave of zombies inside of that thing so what happened here okay nothing over there boom here we're waiting for you again let's take all okay so i'm back over here it's seriously like is the first time where the only thing i have to do is just keep traveling craft one item and then just keep traveling like seriously fort mass for videos is definitely not super entertaining because it just i've been playing here for way over half an hour like for 40 minutes now and i think this video is like only like what two three minutes long so in any case i did craft like now two barbed wires and uh where i'm even gonna place them well i think placing one over here just for the memes and literally one over there would be pretty cool all i want to say is that these barbed wires they do look pretty epic they slow you down oh okay but i'm pretty sure they still have some durability so uh, that barbed wire doesn't even matter and now we have to to repair a turret on the territory of the fort what so this is gonna be the first time when i will have to repair one of those turrets first of all how do i get to that turret through my labyrinth okay wow that's not okay so we can attach the turret from over there wait first of all let's delete here one wall i don't think these turrets are gonna be that important though but again i just have to go back to the base and bring more resources well i am back here at the fort moss finally and i think i will be able to go and assemble this turret and i thought that i do not have enough turret parts but hey i had like five or ten turrets parts at the base so that will be totally enough to go and assemble that thing here go take the turret parts take the bolts uh, take the rubber wirings weapon parts aluminum iron and that thing baby boom now let's assemble here this turret and if i'm not mistaken this turret can be destroyed so hey please just don't tell me that i'll have to assemble other turrets because i do not have any more turret parts like i don't have them i'm just Four. Okay, so let's take my rewards now. So right now, let's go for the wave of zombies. We're definitely gonna choose here the easiest difficulty. And I thought that every five levels we're gonna be fighting them off. But again, at level 17, apparently, we're gonna start fighting these zombies. And uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Like, I am sure that I'm just gonna lose here. But again, we're gonna try it out. I didn't take a lot of AKs and other weapons because uh, these are the weapons that I wanna keep for my bunker. Bravo, I didn't take too many M16s. So, hey, we're just gonna start here off like this that hopefully it will be okay whatever let's just now click on that start button that's it hopefully i'm not gonna fail i've spent here seriously so much time just fighting all that stuff and uh, we're gonna see where the zombies are gonna spawn okay so zombies spawning over here so we're gonna start fighting them here we go just like that with my glock shouldn't be maybe using my glocks here should be using better weapons but in any case why not okay so we're gonna deal now with these dudes they're gonna kind of destroy me a little bit but hey we're gonna heal up i totally uh, defended that place okay so some zombies are coming now 
from the very, 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 very down. I'm going to start here. We go destroying them. A little bit of the spread shot here. My Glock is kind of bad. You know what? Let's take here my M16. Where is uh, the... Most likely something is going on with the top or like whatever. Yes, indeed, there is a lot of stuff going on up the very, very top. Let's deal here now with these Berserkers and other stuff. Here we go. They are destroying walls, so that's kind of cool. Here we go. Berserker, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Another dude is just gonna go to sleep. Here we go. He's went to sleep. Let's take this. Another M16. Do I have to go down back to my base? Okay, so this is how I go back to the base. Okay, so some people are already very, very close. Let's take here a spread shot, most likely. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that spread shot totally worked on most of the people here. Okay, let's deal with all of those zomzoms. Very nice. For some reason, they get stuck here. Oh, no, they're just destroying these walls. So I think these walls worked kind of perfectly. Okay, let's deal with this swamp zombie. Please tell me nobody's on that tower, because if somebody's on that tower here already, I will be very, very sad. Okay, so somebody's kind of outside. My turret didn't uh, do as well as I wanted to do. Uh, how do I deal with these dudes? Okay, so go to sleep, go to sleep. Please tell me that's it. Please tell me nobody's on my tower here. Let's go back. Okay, so some people are coming in. Just a spread shot in the face. Very nice. Another one over here. Bunch of swamp bloaters. I mean, just three couple of swamp bloaters. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna definitely... Okay, so they keep destroying walls. I just see these level one walls work perfectly here. Okay, so accept that over here, dude. No, 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 no. So we're gonna start destroying these tainters. Wow. That's a lot of tainters. Okay, so we definitely gotta go take another now M16. I think this is gonna be the last zombie, no? No, no, no. There's still somebody doing something over somewhere. And uh, I don't like this place. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so this is like... Okay, maybe this is gonna be just the last zombie. Is that it? Is that it? Yes, that's it. We defended it. Easy peasy. I do believe that at the very end, like at level 30 or something, it's going to be a bit harder to defend your base. But as you can see, okay, whatever. Give me my rewards, Captain. Thank you very much. But as you can see, these level one walls worked totally wonders. Like they just get stuck between those walls and they just start destroying them. So you just come there and fight them off a little by little. Like Glock doesn't work kind of perfectly here. So that's sad because M16s now work in Bunker Bravo and I do not want to waste these M16s here. But I think it's still worth it to get to Fort Moss level like 20 or something. Because as I said, you're going to get one ATV transmission and one gas cylinder. So that's totally worth it. So as you can see, I have here base prepared. So we're going to go to that raid really, really soon. But first of all, let's hop here to Bunker Alpha. I wanted to say Bunker Bravo, but I have to open up here a couple of crates because my bunker alpha is going to reset in about one day and at the same time I need to get a couple of red tickets. I do believe that I'm going to have 30 red tickets here already. Okay, so let's get rid of that stuff. Where are my red tickets? Here we go. I do have 40 red tickets and for those who do not know as I said already now, bunker alpha is more important than it ever was before. You have to keep doing it in order to get guns because right now you need guns for everything. You even need your guns to assemble those uh, mods for your weapons because right now police department doesn't drop anything so you will need to recycle your guns in order to craft some basic uh, weapon mods. So you seriously just need a lot of and a lot of and a lot of guns. So again, Bunker Alpha is going to be like your second home. Actually, Bunker Alpha should be your first home and your main base is supposed to be like your second home because you will be spending more time at Bunker Alpha than at your base. But in any case, let's open up now all of these crates here. And I don't think I'm going to be doing entire Bunker Alpha because as I said, I don't, I don't really like it that much. I've done it so many times already. I've done it like over probably 100 or 200 times that I really do not want to be doing it anymore. So at least I'll try to go and just kill the big one. Or, I mean, it's not the big one, it's the blind one, but you got the point. Let's take here a wrench. Let's take here another thingy and let's see what we're going to get inside. So here we're going to get two AKs. A shotgun and an M16. That's beautiful. That's seriously a great, great crate opening. Uh, did I get anything great? Okay, handmade silencer, a large magazine. Nothing that much important. 16 caps and two acid. I mean, okay, okay. Pretty decent. Plus, we got in one SWAT set. I like it. Here, we've gotten another shotgun. And please tell me here we're going to get something nice. And a Glock. You know what? Pretty great crate opening. I love it. Well, I entered that bunker, but I forgot to activate the hard mode. So, let's activate now here the hard mode to go and be able to deal with with those dudes. We're most likely, yeah, we're gonna just take these items. It will be okay. And I think today we're gonna be doing double raid because I've been already here recording for an hour and I haven't really shown here
your minds because I really thought that Fort Moss was going to be more interesting. So I was just keeping Fort Moss for the videos. That's why I wasn't grinding Fort Moss on a live stream. But I realized that seriously, there is no way I can make Fort Moss videos or something because it's going to be super boring. There is nothing much I can show. I do know that maybe some people are going to be interested on how I go through my inventory and I search for those blanks or whatever. But in my opinion, it's kind of boring. I'll try my best to keep those waves on the videos. But the rest, I think, are just going to go for the live stream. I think Fort Moss perfectly suits for the live stream so that's what we are gonna do now let's heal that up and i've seen a lot of players reaching like level 30 just in one day because it's totally possible if you're gonna grind hard enough so most likely that's what we are gonna do on the live stream i already said that a lot but hey smash the like subscribe and put the notification bell <laughs> to not miss those future uh, live streams now we're gonna go over there wait i do know that i most likely have to go and fight here with this turret uh, because maybe 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 it's gonna drop something good I shouldn't be spamming my M16. We're going to spam those M16s in that bunker. Bravo. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so show me show me what we're going to get inside. Okay, five turret parts. Yes, please come to my pocket. Definitely need those turret parts because I will need to assemble some more of those whatever things. And I'm not going to have enough turret parts. Yeah, I'll have to assemble more turrets and I won't have the turret parts. Let's take here now my Glock. Let's deal now here with a couple of toxic spitters. Let's deal here with those dudes. And obviously, we're just going to snap transition ourselves through that blind one because everybody knows already how to deal with them. And uh, yeah, it's not that super interesting, but we will see whatever. Let's deal now here with another frenzy giant super, super, super quickly because he drops those notebooks and notebooks are really juicy for the specialist. Here we go. Please tell me. No, just a chevron. Very not epic. Oh, and I just realized that we are very, very close to that floppy crate. So I think maybe today we're going to open up the floppy crate. But first of all, let's here snap transition ourselves through the blind one. Well, here we go. Blind one went to sleep. Give me my items. We have 21 red ticket. And I do think that we're going to go and deal with a couple of extra zomzoms here. And then I will be able to go and open up that floppy crate for you. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is not going to be an infected chest. Because inside of that infected chest... Uh, I mean, right now to open that infected chest, we will seriously require uh, some acid and a couple of air filters. And again, we do have acid. But I do not want to use any air filters for that stuff. So, hey... Hopefully, hopefully this is not going to be infected chest because in uh, they made those infected chests harder. You know, it's pretty hard to get those uh, infected chests. Now you got to grind that bunker, that hard mode bunker, blah, blah. But the truth is you still get pretty bad loot inside, even though you're going to get that one scar or something. But it's not worth the weapons that you're using here. And uh, yeah, whatever. Let's take here now my Glock. Let's deal now with a couple of other Toxica bombs. As I said, I don't need a lot here, but just I think this floor and plus we're going to be able to open up that. OK, so I don't think I would have been able to kill him because I was scared that that toxic abomination is going to come in front and he's going to uh, screw up my targets. Let's deal with those dudes. Boom, boom. And yeah, as I said, I want to open up that locked chest and inside we're going to get some nades. And we already have over 60 nades at the base. So uh, it's just screaming that we have to do that police department. So again, I think we're going to do it on the live stream because I am planning to do more live streams, baby. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it one day. Okay, let's deal now with our frenzy giant. Thank you very much for going to sleep. Now, let's loot these two crests, crates. And inside, sometimes you might get here a floppy crate. Not the floppy crate, but that in a notebook. I have no idea why did I confuse floppy crate with a notebook. But in any case, let's loot now. Another chest, boom. Okay, nothing that much special. Let's deal with this couple of toxic spitters. One more shot. Very nice. Let's activate here the terminal. And while my dude activating the terminal, let's take here an M16. Let's switch that up. So only two zombies left here. And I think I'm out of this place because I'll have enough for the hard mode stuff here. We could definitely use here melee weapons. I highly suggest you here right now using your melee weapons and not wasting here your guns just like that. But for the sake of guys, your time. I am uh, using here weapons instead of these uh, whatever katanas. And you know what? For those people who still have no idea what I'm talking about, how to deal, uh, let's say, with that wall check, how to use your melee weapons in hard mode bunker alpha. So I'm going to show it just for you peeps. For those who do not know, here we go. You open that up and there's going to be that frenzy giant. We're going to come in. Uh, we're going to let him come a bit closer. And this is how you do basically wall check. You can wall check here entire bunker alpha, all of these frenzy giants. So you can save a tremendous and tremendous amount of weapons. And that's how those floppy crates can be a little bit more profitable. 
But again, it's just gonna take forever and you'll have to do like, let's say that hard mode bunker every two days. And I mean, you can only imagine how tedious that's gonna, that's gonna get. Like it will seriously feel like a second job. And seriously, the last thing you wanna do when you come back from work <laughs> is to go and do that bunker alpha every two days. Like some people probably are gonna be fine with doing that bunker alpha every two days. But again, after some time, it's gonna get boring. Like for me, I've done that hard mode bunker so many times. I've done simple bunker so many times already that I just seriously wanna get out of here as soon as possible. But whatever, let's open that up. We're gonna get here one more chevron. We're gonna get here a nade and a used Glock. Very, very beautiful. Okay, you know what? I still have eight first aid kits, so I think we're gonna keep doing that hard mode bunker as long as I have these eight kits. And uh, yeah. But maybe that would be great if I got an, a, an infected floppy crate. I would be able to at least show you how that inf infected floppy crate looks like. Okay, so let's take now this guy. I'm not sure if we can wall trick him. I think we can. Yeah, we can definitely even wall trick this guy. Like, it's it's easy peasy, as you can see. Except that it takes time, but it's pretty interesting, especially if you've never done that before. It's gonna take some time to learn how to do it. And I do know that if you have here a laggy device, it's gonna be a bit harder to do that wall trick. When I say a bit harder, it's most likely going to be probably impossible, but hey. But there's again gonna be that one, dude. Oh my god, Zerk, I have three FPS and I still can't do wall trick easy. Well, that's very nice. Now, let's take that. Let's take here my shotgun. We could definitely wall trick him, but again, I'm taking here way too much time in that bunker uh, alpha. Okay, so we're gonna go over there. We're gonna fight that other guy with my katanas because I do have them. That dude is gonna come closer. Let's deal now with my frenzy giant and again, it's kinda sinful to go and leave those frenzy giants because the best a way to open up your flappy crates is going to be just by fighting these frenzy giants and plus you can wall trick them easily like these are probably the easiest zombies to wall trick because they do not go through the walls like for example you're not going to be able to wall trick those toxic spitters and again like somebody's going to say well sir i'm wall tricking toxic spitters all the time and that's good but i do not wall trick toxic spitters they're more tricky to wall trick and they're kind of even useless to wall trick but yeah like i said frenzy giants are pretty dumb dumb they get stuck in the wall pretty easily just like like that so all you have to do is just keep riding from one place to another place and that's it and also the best we weapon to wall trick is going to be a probably katana machete and everything that's longer range than everything that's a bit faster you can even use your saw blade mace here to wall trick but that's going to be really hard as your attack speed of the saw blade mace and attack speed of the frenzy giant is a very similar so it's going to take some time to pull off a perfect shot cleavers are very amazing and crowbars are very amazing for the wall trick and also keep in mind that if you you're gonna have a short range weapon you will have to let your frenzy giant come really really close to you otherwise you're not gonna be able to reach frenzy giant and your character is just gonna run uh, towards that frenzy giant so it's gonna be a bit hard so if you're using let's say your wall trick with the cleaver then you'll have to bring that frenzy giant closer to you and some of you right now might be interested cyrek why are you explaining how to use that wall trick blah blah and it's because right now after this season whatever season three update it became way harder to do that bunker alpha I mean, not way harder, but you'll have to do that bunker alpha way more frequently. And for example, right now, that's what I was talking about. If you had here a cleaver, you most likely would not be able to uh, reach Frenzy Giant. Your character would start running towards Frenzy Giant. So you would have to bring him even closer. And this is how you bring them. Here we go. This is it. I just brought Frenzy Giant a bit closer. And this way, now my cleaver and crowbar would work perfectly. And as I said, now you'd have to do bunker alpha so many more times. You have to do it many, many more times uh, than before. It became even more tedious. So I had highly suggest using wall trick on these frenzy giants before you didn't have to have let's say three or four racks of guns before you could only have like one rack of guns and you would still be rich and it didn't matter if you had one rack or five racks of guns like seriously back in the days almost everybody was the same you could have like one chest of guns not even rack of guns and it was enough to play the game. It was seriously just means of flexing or something, but right now you seriously need to have a lot of and a lot of guns and the best way to get them is just going to be by wall tricking. So start wall tricking your bunker alpha. And I'm also hoping that these shotguns are gonna work perfectly inside of that Bunker Bravo. My Bunker Bravo is gonna reset in a couple of hours, so most likely we're gonna grind that stuff tomorrow. Okay, let's do spread shot on all of those dudes. Totally missed that spread shot. Toxica bomb, go to sleep. Exploder, go to sleep. 
And if shotguns are gonna work inside of that bunker Bravo, it will be really, really nice because as I said, I'm running low on AKs. I'm running low, even low on my M16s. And I'm running low on guns in general. Like I said, that bunker Bravo just sucked everything that I had. It's seriously like a black hole. It took all my weapons and I'm pretty sure a lot of and a lot of players have the same problem right now. Okay, now let's try to deal with this exploder here with my shotgun. Hopefully I will not explode. And if I am gonna explode here, oh no, I did not explode. I was super close to exploding. Okay. Okay, now finally let's activate here this terminal boom now let's deal here with this exploder one more time we could definitely wall trick it but i think we're gonna wall trick that frenzy giant or whatever okay that dude went to sleep just totally beautiful take this let's take here my machete we're gonna do a little bit of damage to that frenzy giant i'm gonna hide here behind the wall and he's gonna come here and we will most likely be able to do perfect wall trick so yeah most likely here as well if i wouldn't have katana i wouldn't be able to deal uh, with the cleaver because my character would start running literally in front of him and it would be a bit harder well in any case all i have to say hopefully your device is not laggy and it's good enough it's smooth enough so that you can do the wall trick here because it's pretty easy if your device is smooth then yeah you're gonna be able to do the wall trick if it's laggy it's definitely gonna be a bit more complicated but now let's take all of these items and let's go to our floppy crate location let's give all of these items to our specialist and maybe 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 this is gonna be an infected floppy crate and i will be able to show you how these infl infected floppy crates work right now because they are totally different than they were before loot is still the same loot is still garbage you don't even get one full durability armor you don't even get one full set but whatever please tell me that will be enough yes no that's still not enough take those give me my floppy crate take all of these where are my chevrons here go not the chevrons but those id tags boom now let's insert here the floppy crate inside boom maybe i'll be lucky enough and i'll get here a grenade launcher but my goal is just to get like let's say an ak and a scar and i'll be happy i mean obviously grenade launcher would be great as well so here we go i'm inside of this floppy crate event and if this is going to be an infected chest that would be pretty pretty epic and i uh, know this is just a simple chest well that's a bit sad in the beginning i didn't want it but now it would be really great to show for you a new in fact in the new infected uh chest but hey it is not it so from one side it's good from another side it's bad but in any case let's deal with those dudes and i do say too frequently that in any case but in any case now let's open up this chest and let's see what we're gonna get in solid and in solid we are gonna get literally nothing like this is seriously one of the worst chests that you can get obviously it could get worse you could get only that one revolver but we're just getting one m16 so still pretty okay we're gonna get one full uh, swat set and only one air filter so seriously this uh, floppy crate was pretty pretty bad again i would rate it better than nothing but like oh boy so finally after forever and a little bit and 84 years and it does sound like a broken record at this point but we're gonna be rating this base and i do know that inside we're gonna get some great loot i've done some research on it and finally let's get out of the chopper and at least we can do something here because seriously most of that video was just me cutting out i've been playing now for an hour and a half and I don't even know if this video is like 10 minutes long or something. So in any case, let's just destroy some of the stuff. But as I said, guys, I do try to make the... The, the, the more interesting videos, I could just definitely go and, like, let's say, make, like, those three fourth mass videos out of, like, this entire video here right now. But it's not that interesting. I'm trying to keep only interesting parts in the video. So smash that like button on the video just because of that reason. Because why not? Let's not deal here with these floater bloaters. And first question that I have here, how on earth is this ATV here standing on the ground? Like, I don't know what's going on here. But um, whatever, at least he doesn't have those 10 engine, uh, 10 uh, ATV transmissions. And what's also interesting now is when you start a new account, what's going to happen? Will that dude have 10 ATV transmissions or will he have only one ATV transmission? That's what's interesting for me because for those who didn't know, there is some sort of a base when you start the game. There is a base up the top or something and you can raid it and inside that dude would always have one ATV transmission and that would be the only place where you could see it. But I'm interested what's going to happen here right now. So already this raid is pretty cool. We're going to get here a lot of and a lot of first aid kits. And first aid kits in this game, as I said, a lot of and a lot of times already. They are very, very amazing. Without them, it's pretty hard to play the game. And the best way to get them most likely is going to be through the raids. Plus inside here, we're going to get a couple of tickets. I'm going to start picking them up here as well. And wave of zombies. Let's do that snap transition. Well, zombies are doing what? Yes, sir, they're sleeping. Yes, indeed, zombies are totally sleeping. Now, let's take here the rest of the items. You know what? I'm going to go and fill up my chopper here, uh, there, with a little bit of doo-doo. First of all, let's just take that one gasoline. I could just go and get rid of my hatches, but you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm going to bring those hatches back to the base because most likely 
today we're gonna be doing double raid just because the video was pretty slow in the beginning so i want to make something more interesting for you peeps okay so let's leave here a couple of weapons boom boom okay, now let's go back inside let's take the rest of the items maybe i should take that hammer i really don't think i need it but i mean let's take it anyways because i don't think i'm gonna be assembling any more terminals inside of that bunker bravo all the terminals that i have now are pretty good i can do bunker bravo pretty more or less efficiently with the items that i have already so i don't really care well we can take more engine parts but do i really need them now i have uh, still like over 100 or something engine parts left and the only thing i can do is give them to jennifer so whatever we're gonna take them people are gonna eat me alive if i don't take those engine parts so we gotta do it and the rest is pretty fine i mean aluminum let's take that whatever let's chop down now the last chest and inside if i'm not mistaken i don't know what we're gonna get okay we're gonna get some food yes baby we're gonna take this with me and i had to get rid of all of my hatchets that's just sad but pretty decent base and this base does get sarx approval a few weapons a couple of first aid kits super great base okay now let's do something epic and here we go we got here this a saving season pack just so that we okay oh whoa, 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 whoa. it's a crate okay okay i thought it's just gonna appear here so let's take all of that we've got in here one vss and we got here guys a ghillie suit so let's take it and let's go to our raid here with the ghillie suit first of all i want to just check it out how it looks like dude it's super epic like 43 this is 43 speed this has seven armor seven armor that's eight eight so this is exactly uh, this set has exactly same stats as the tactical armor but <laughs> dude it looks awesome like i'm not gonna lie this set definitely looks wow wow the dude is super epic i mean you might just tell me well sorry you're just overreacting or whatever but dude it's seriously pretty cool like uh, most of the sets here look pretty dumb and i mean finally we have a ghillie suit in the game also i want a winter ghillie suit like say whatever you want i do want a ghillie suit uh, winter style i want my winter ghillie suit okay I'm a simple man. I want the winter ghillie suit. Well, after forever and a little bit of sorting out my inventory. Again, I, sh I definitely should stop saying that because I say it way too often. But now let's go for another raid here with the ghillie suit. Just to make a little bit less noise. Which, it doesn't work like that. Ghillie suit is not gonna make you more quiet. What you could do, though is craft that uh, fishing recipe like carp plus perch and you'll be able to do a little bit less noise but this base is so small that we do not even need uh, any of that other stuff but in any case let's get out of here of our chopper i should definitely wash it but i forgot to even uh, take out stuff from my chopper here but in any case i don't think i need anything i don't need to wash my chopper it's all good now let's just place a c4 in that base i don't know where i'm gonna place it but i think placing it over here will be good wait is this even the same base that i've seen i have a feeling that this is going to be a different different base now nah, it's still the same and i just want to say that yeah my guy looks pretty epic it's it still looks looks like a tactical armor just with a little bit of shenanigans and a different color but it's pretty okay let's place here now my c4 baby boom it's gonna go totally boom boom maybe maybe we'll need to fight even wave of zombies probably not really so this dude is gonna have a couple of chests and i have zero idea what we're gonna get inside of this base but hopefully i'll be able to get a couple of rubber parts because they will be really appreciated rubber parts and uh, snap transition as i said uh, rubber parts and uh, some air filters that would be awesome but i don't think we're getting that anytime soon let's take all of these items baby boom 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 let's open up now another chest maybe here i'll get something better or well, maybe first aid kits will be great as well well now we're getting these usb drives even though i totally do not need them anymore they were way more important back in the days well you know what did i take them with me yeah i did take those usb drives but as I said, not as awesome as I already have everything that I need. Let's take these uh, tickets. I think they're going to be super important, especially now when Bunker Alpha is more important than ever before. So I'll be able to keep opening up these orange tickets day after day. Let's take some other stuff in here. Probably a snap transition. As always, we're gonna go and fill up here our chopper a little bit. Oh no, I cannot even fill it up because I forgot. Oh, oh well let's continue our raid here like that let's jump down here one more trunk and inside of this trunk we're gonna get nothing awesome just very awesome we're gonna take another stack of those beans because beans are very good eat beans 
No, 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 no. Can you destroy that chest? Not when we most likely will have to go and chop down this tree. Then I'll be able to destroy these two chests. And we will be done with this entire base. So still, please, 1,000 steel and I'll be super happy. Maybe 1,000 steel or 10 MGLs. And inside, we're going to get a little bit of iron. I would definitely love to take it. But we have enough iron at the base. We totally do not need any more. Plus, we're going to get more orange tickets. I like it. I totally do like those orange tickets. I mean, before, I didn't care about them. I remember back in the days, I would not pick them up. But right now, I don't. I uh, want to go and farm these orange tickets at that bunker alpha. All I want to do is just farm the red tickets and I think that will help me out a little bit. I'll be able to just speed rush like maybe third or whatever, fourth or something floor just for those frenzy giants. Not the fourth floor, but the third floor just for the sake of frenzy giants. And I won't have to go and deal with any of those simple zombies for those orange tickets. Uh, inside here, we're gonna get nothing pretty empty. Now let's destroy that last chest and please, please, pretty please, thousand steel. Nope, uh, just plant fiber and inside, I mean, that's it. I mean, bolts definitely gonna take bolts with me. And gonna take phones because high-tech components are kind of more useful even though we have a lot of high-tech components at the base. But uh, I mean, more is never bad. Well, and that's it. This is like a literally entire base. For 1c4, all that stuff, you know what? Maybe it's kind of useful. So I'm gonna give it Sarek's approval, but I wish I gotten something better. So I highly suggest you checking out this video on the new survival game. Or click here on the second card and you will see how I've done Bunker Bravo quickly. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you will find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.